All right, guys, we're here in Santa Barbara today for a quick day date with my wife. We're just gonna get some uh, breakfast at Bruxy and then hopefully some lunch with some seafood, guys. It's a beautiful day here. It's February and not that many people. Hey, how's it going? Do we just sit, sit down is it, or we order? You want the water for you? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse my messy office, but this is the moment when I realized that my external mic, that what I'm holding in my hand right now, was not working, and this whole time I was using the internal mic. So from now on, you're gonna see captions uh, below, and please don't mind the background noise, background noise, guys. So I'm really sorry about that, and uh, lessons learned. So back to the video, guys. Okay guys, we're here today in Santa Barbara and we're here, uh, we're gonna eat at Bruxy. It's like a waffle place that sells chicken and waffles, like savory uh, dishes as well as sweet dishes inside of a waffle. It's been a while since we've been here. I think the last time we went here was like probably over 10 years ago. Yeah. But yeah, in Anaheim. Alright, thank you. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Go ahead. I also got a camera cold brew guys right here. I didn't get that much sleep last night, so I need something to wake me up. Start off with this first. I love the logo by the way. Look at the logo. The waffle on the chicken. It's pretty cool. Let's try this. That's perfect. Mm. That's good. It's fast. All right, guys, this one's actually for Burdette. It's the sweeter version. Um, this is the strawberries with cream brulee waffle. Mm. The waffle's really crispy. Nice, um, tasty batter. This one's really good. The strawberries are really good too. Mm. Alright guys, this is the original uh, chicken waffle. It has the honey chili glaze on it and coleslaw, homemade coleslaw. Look how big that is. Oh man, it was humongous compared to my hand. Dang. I might have to use uh, a knife and fork for this one. You know, it's like, let's try that chicken first. Mmm. That's a nice crispy breading on that. Chicken's tender. Let's get it with the, some of that waffle. That's a mouthful, guys. It's not too spicy, actually. I would say out of 10, probably like uh, two or three. The cold slaw balances it out, too, so it's nice and cool. But it's a little mixture of sweet from the honey and then chili. After a few hours of window shopping and walking around downtown, we headed towards the beach for lunch at a place called Santa Barbara Shellfish Company. They are known for their crabs and other seafood, but we mainly came here for the sea urchin. You couldn't ask for a better day in February. So we're gonna do the, uh, the local sea urchin and then uh, <laughs> Okay, together. Thanks. Thank you. So, nice. 
Urchin. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're at our second stop today. We went to the Santa Barbara Shellfish Company, mainly for this, guys. We wanted to try the uni from Santa Barbara. And then we also have a second meal, the lobster roll. Dang, that was, that was a lot of lobster in there. All right. Let's start off with this first. Dang. Look at this lobster. It has some coleslaw on the side, onion rings, and then like this better toast filled with lobster, guys. That's a lot of lobster. Let's give that a try. Look at that, guys. Look at filled. Filled to the brim. The only thing, I wish it was on the warm side. It's actually cold. When we went to the East Coast, I always got the uh, Connecticut style, which is warm lobster with warm butter on it. But this is good still. Very refreshing. Not too much mayo, and the bread is very buttery. Okay, right here, guys, we have uni. The last time I had some good uni was when I went to Japan. And I'm still trying to find out if I like it or not. We're going to try this one here from Santa Barbara because they're really popular here uh, for the uni. They, uh, they just grab it out here in the ocean. Alright, so how do I eat this? I guess they just slide it in your mouth probably. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's not fishy at all. It's actually meat, meatier than, than, than the one I had in Japan. And it's not as um, it's not as mushy as I imagine it to be. It's really good. It's really tasty. Oh, this is good. It's good, babe. It's good, huh? Good. Yeah, it's good. It's probably because it's from here, you know. It's almost like pudding, like. Yeah, like a, like a, like a pudding. A little bit uh, more dense, though. Let's try it again. It's so smooth. It's so smooth. Mm. There's also raw scallops on it, but Santa Barbara's known for their uni, guys. This lobster roll is good, guys, but it doesn't compare to the lobster rolls I had in Maine. This is still good, though. Here's the uni shell, guys. That's where all the booty came from. This sauce is really good too. It's ponzu sauce. Ah, so good. Wow. Just melts, melts in your mouth. Mm. Yeah. So much better. Mm. That's my guys. Oh, I, I, you know what, Ben? I'll get you. You need it? <laughs> From our last trip, but it still had some in her purse. <laughs> I probably have a bunch of lobster in my teeth, but that's okay. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. Great day date here in Santa Barbara, guys. Beautiful day. Can't believe it's this warm in the middle, well, end of February. Oh, it's not for your face. Uh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't touch things. It's a sanitizing wipe. Oh, God, it's burning. It's a sanitizing wipe. See you in the next video, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. We ended up ending the day date at a place called Hochia for some boba. It's a new place that we haven't been to. It's in Goleta. And I got the oolong uh, pudding milk tea. Um, let's give it a try. I also got cheese foam on top. 
Mm, that's good. I like it because you can really taste the tea. Let me see if I can get some of that. Pudding. Love the texture on the boba. Nice and chewy. It's a good spot, guys.